All right, so today's adventure is checking out something to go with my Cast King Pond Hopper backpack. Uh, if you haven't, check out the review on this. This is kind of my go-to bag for when I'm river fishing or uh, pond hopping. I've been using it a lot on the, the Niangua River and uh, uh, when I'm not on my kayak. I really like it. It's a good investment. It uh, holds quite a bit of stuff. Check out that video and review. I'll do a, a one later, uh, maybe a year review after after I've had it for a while. But so I've got my terminal tackle in here, and I've got some some other baits and stuff in here. But I'm a huge soft bait guy, so I like throwing a lot of soft baits. And I was using this bag. This is the uh, Plano uh, Worm Bag. Uh, and I was using this, but man, it's just kind of a pain in the butt once you put gear in it to zip it and uh, unzip it back. Um, you know, you get to the to your spot wherever it is, the river bank, and you open this thing up, and then the air gets inside the Ziploc bags and it swells up, and it's just a pain. It's got only one zipper on it, so you can't zip down from each side. You have to zip all the way around. And then what happens is the zipper will get caught on some of the bags and then all of a sudden you've got holes in your bags. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. But that's where the zipper got caught in holes in the bags. Now, maybe I got this thing stuffed. If you were to put one package in each page, it would be thinner. But I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages, which means I would only hold eight packages of plastics. That's no good for me. Um, it does have pockets. I've got the uh, the wacky tool. Another review on my channel if you haven't checked it out. And then I've got my silicone wacky bands in there as well but I bought this it was 30 bucks 29.99 almost a year ago and I've been using it but I was just hoping for something a little bit better than this and then having to fight with this to get it squished And this is actually going easier because I haven't had it open that long. If I open this thing up and leave it open for an hour of fishing, the air gets in there and it's a little harder to even zip. So, I found this. You know, the Cast King product. And uh, we're going to open this bad boy up and see what it's about. But this is the uh, Cast King Fishing Tackle uh, Soft tackle binder it's a little bit more expensive this one was 39 instead of the 29 of the Plano but I think since it's sewn as a binder it'll work a little bit better and plus it matches perfectly with my pond hopper bag so we're gonna open this bad boy up and check it out all right so I don't know if you're like me but I love throwing plastics I uh, think I spend 90% of my time throwing plastics over uh, hard crankbaits. Uh, since I've started this channel up, uh, going on almost a year now that I've been doing this, uh, plus kayak fishing, I've really uh, grown to support the local uh, industries. And uh, I found some awesome uh, companies uh, to include, the, the, of course, the Ozark sportsman's box if you've seen my videos on them as well but some uh, some local and when I mean local even surrounding Missouri uh, the Jig Shack custom painted crankbaits and tungsten weights uh, this is out of Illinois uh, 19 Delta Baits this is uh, 
veteran owned company uh, out of Arkansas great guy and uh, I'm glad that he uh, uh, selected me to be on uh, his uh, field staff but I love plastic baits uh, this is uh, uh, probably the meat and potatoes of what I throw a lot of the times so I wanted something large enough that I can fit all my plastic baits into uh, UV tight lines another great company here in Missouri uh, got UV colors in them I love throwing their stuff and then tackle HD awesome stuff there's a promo code for tackle HD in the description as well if you want to try them out you can save 20% it's pretty cool but let's go ahead and get into this thing it's called the bait boss utility binder it's made of ripstop nylon with PVC backing six durable clear bait sleeves so this only has six sleeves versus the other one having eight but hopefully we'll actually be able to put more in there you open this thing up yeah it's got pockets I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way it's got a uh, zipper pockets on the cover and this cover is kind of hard and it's got a big zipper pouch here cast king loyalty program go back to the binder so it's got thick that's thick plastic too Wow, uh, pockets maybe for jig heads or something, and then these pages. Here's these pages. Come with the silica gel. That's kind of neat. I don't know if each page comes with them. No, I don't. Okay. Again, that thick plastic, and it's good size. Oh yeah. See, I can even put my Helga mites in there. And I'll end up setting this up the way I like it. I usually go finesse first to my largest, but I just wanted to set that out. So my Helga might still sit in there with that good window. It's a double page here, or a double window. Oh, okay, so smaller. Hmm. See, I could really do without these. I'd rather have these large ones. I wonder if you can order them separately. Something I'm going to have to check out. So two of them. Yeah. It seems like it's well made. The strap here that binds it is pretty heavy duty. The stitching is pretty nice. Yeah, so far the only thing I can think of is I'd, I'd like to have more pages. And I'm hoping Cast King offers that. That's nice. And then two pockets larger on the, on the back side. And it's got a got a heavy back side too. It's got a mesh back. Probably put some tools in there or something. Yeah. I'll try to load this thing up and see. See if I can get that whole this thing in here. Let's try it out. Right. So here it is. I uh, put everything, everything in here, in here, and there's actually room to spare. Pretty cool. So this has got a double zipper, which is definitely better to open it. I got my wacky tool in there, and I mean I, I still got room. My Helga mites, the packet. The envelopes are pretty thick, so you can stuff them. I got room, man. I got some worms in here. I got my TRDs in here. All my Z-Man TRDs. I got drop shot worms here. So I didn't have it. 
because of this. I really, there's only certain things you can put in them small things. So I put my shorter worms in one of them. And then, like my Guggenbait packages and, and the KVD uh, Ocho wouldn't fit in them small packages, so I just put them here. But I've got, I mean, I've got this pouch here still. I've got the front, I've got a zipper pouch, and then I can put all my 19 deltas in here because most of the 19 deltas come in this, a bag just like this, anyways. So that's most likely what I'll do. I'll slap my 19 deltas in this front pouch. So I think this is going to work pretty good. I'm hoping I can order a couple more pages. It's got a strong handle. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Yeah. I know everybody's kind of freaking out about the COVID-19 virus right now. My thoughts and prayers are with everybody. social distancing I'm hoping will work and I uh, send a prayer out for our leaders of this great nation to uh, do the right things and hopefully get us in the right track thanks for watching as always keep your thoughts and prayers out for our soldiers sailors airmen and Marines if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be the America that we are today and again I appreciate it if uh, you check out the affiliate links in the bottom of the video description that helps my channel out I don't have a thousand or ten thousand viewers so I don't get revenue off of making my videos it's just kind of a hobby for me but uh, if you purchase something through the links the Swamp Fox tactical link I get a couple pennies on the dollar for you using the affiliated link and there's a code there you can save 20% off as well and that kind of helps the channel and helps me be able to purchase more things to do reviews on without my wife uh, wanting to kick my butt we're spending too much money. <laughs> Thanks again.